My name is Matt Crowhurst. I am a wakeboarder of 18 years or more. Also wake skating and wake surfing and coaching in the sport for all of that time and basically being involved in the industry in every possible way I can be in order to stay in the industry and stay on the water. So having been in the sport for, for quite a while, I started when I was 15 and, and took to it quite well and early on I managed to sort of secure national titles as a, as a, as a junior and uh, then a European title as a junior and then started to take more towards uh, rail riding, the features side of the sport. Uh, but love boat riding, love hitting features, love traditional cable riding, wake skating, wake surfing, all of the above. Um, but more recently, I've, I've, I've sort of got into competing again and competing in the Masters Division, which is 30 and over. And I've uh, won the boat nationals and just recently got second at the world as well in, in cable. So two different disciplines. It's no secret that Action sports in general are pretty harsh on the body and I have fallen foul of that, fell foul of it quite early on. I had um, cartilage damage in 98, so when I was 17, so an operation then, just a minor one, and then I blew my lean properly um, out in Australia at the age of 19, so that was ACL, cartilage, and then a whole year out, I had the old school operation, which is uh, the patella, so opening me right up, which takes a little while to heal from. So from that moment onwards, I've needed to be uh, braced up in order to stay on the water. And I've had moments where I've, I've tried to sort of steer, steer away from the brace, but, but then you get a little bit of a tweaking and you feel it more than you would than someone who hadn't had the injury to start with. So I just stick with wearing a brace permanently now on my left leg. And if I don't, I feel it and it enables me to stay on the water. So I recently just got myself two Don Joy defiances uh, to cover both legs. The reason I have one for my right knee, which is my good knee in inverted commas, is I've actually had, uh, had trouble with that as well in the past. So if I'm doing anything particularly heavy, like there are some events that are gnarly on the knees, one of them being Rebel Harbour Reach, where it's all huge kickers over things and horrendous landings and, and so on. So I'll, I'll strap up both knees just to be particularly secure. Uh, but I've been wearing my rather lovely, subtle neon pink defiance on my left knee permanently since I've got it. and. What I found with the Donjoys compared with other braces that I've been wearing up until now is obviously the difference is, is that they are a, a rear loader. So they're a, a different way of bracing your knee. And for me, it feels a lot more comfortable. It feels like it's secure in the right place. It feels like it stays on and, and, and doesn't slip. I think the nature of wearing a brace is that it's obviously not gonna be as comfortable as not wearing a brace. But taking that into account, this Donjoy is the most comfortable one I've worn and with the amount of adjustment and the way that it sits on the front of your thigh and then the rear of your calf means that it sits and stays a lot more firmly than other braces that I've used. So I'm super happy with it so far and I'm totally dialed in with using it and feels comfortable as ours to ride with. So there's the ongoing question in, in, in action sports, especially for, for, for myself, who's been around a little while and had injuries and wears a knee brace and perhaps some people are just getting into the sport wondering whether they should just get one before anything happens. To be quite honest, if you're wanting to make sure of, of not getting an injury in your knee or lessening the chance, because you can't write off the chance of having an injury altogether, but lessening the chance quite significantly, then you would get the best brace you can for both knees. And I think the nature of action sports are that they're a lifestyle sport whereby we rock up and we go play, we stop playing, we go home, we don't do anything in between times to prepare for those things. And compared with running around in the park playing football every Sunday or going for a run or going for a cycle, these sports, all of them, are way, way, way harder on the body than most other sports. So that has to be taken into account. And I'd say to anyone out there, parents of kids or kids who are thinking about it, if you really want to protect yourself completely, then get braced up. Do I ever go out without my brace? The Donjoy braces are such that they don't feel that restrictive anyway. So it would really be silly for me to go out without it because as, as good as you are, sometimes it doesn't always go right. I, I wakeboard, I coach, I train coaches, I, I manage some athletes and some brands within the sport as well and help with the organization of events and MC events. But this all sort of stems from me just wanting to stay in the sport and loving the scene and loving the action sport as well as possible. And, being active is, is, is what I'm all about, and so I'll do anything 
steer clear of having a proper job. Okay.